Thank you, Madam Speaker. For millennia, Israel was a dream. In 1948, it became a reality. But in recent days, the periphery of Gaza has become a nightmare for Israeli men, women, and children. I rise today in strong support of H.R.S. 34, a bipartisan measure which recognizes Israel's right to defend itself against attacks from Gaza and reaffirms the United States' strong support for our partner. And the time is of the essence. This very morning, Hamas continues to fire rockets into Israel despite the United Nations ceasefire resolution passed last night. Israel has a right and Israel has a duty to defend her people against the attacks of a terrorist group that victimizes the people of Gaza and Israelis on her borders. In the face of these evil acts no nation could tolerate, I commend Israel for working to minimize civilian casualties. But in these dire circumstances, America must stand with Israel. We must show the resolve of a relationship of peaceful democracies, and we must show the resolve of a relationship born of the intimate and deepest held values of both of our people. For the history of Israel is a history of struggle. Over 60 years ago, the state of Israel, under the leadership of a small band of courageous Zionists, declared independence in its ancient homeland. It was promptly recognized by the United States, and it was promptly attacked by its Arab neighbors. The more things change, the more they seem to stay the same. Israel prevailed against the long odds then, again in 67, again in 73, and countless other times, and Israel will prevail again today. But she will not do so alone. We and all the freedom-loving nations of the world must stand with Israel and condemn the violence that's been perpetrated against her people. We cannot stand idly by while a gathering menace grows in the region and a menace perpetrates such acts of evil against our cherished allies. We must come together to rededicate ourselves to the preservation and protection of Israel as a Jewish state and to Jerusalem as her eternal capital. And I commend all of my colleagues for bringing this timely resolution to the floor.